is the Chrissy Swan Show. You're listening to the Chrissy Swan Show. Hi and welcome. Hi, Jack. Hey, Swanny. I loved when... I love it when a really good, funny story just turns up. And this day... When a girl got so drunk in a pub. (laughs) I remember. (laughs) She posted a photograph of her and Keith Urban to her socials and it was not Keith Urban. It was not. And we asked the question, Swanee, what was the exact moment that you realised you had to stop drinking and we had some fantastic calls. You're going to hear that before three o'clock. I might have admitted on air. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if it keeps and stays in there. <laughs> and after 3 o'clock, Swanee, we are going to ex- reveal some very exciting news because we are back live next Monday yeah. with something to give away that's going to be epic. <laughs> <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. We have uncovered something absolutely hilarious. A girl called Sophia was enjoying herself at a bar somewhere in America. And she has uploaded to TikTok some really fun videos of her and her friend and Keith Urban. <laughs> Good old Keithy. Good old Keithy was there. <laughs> and, I mean, I'm looking at this footage of, and I use inverted commas, Keith Urban. There is nobody that looks less like Keith Urban than this guy. No, I'm backing Sophia up here. I think if I were, like... Ten drinks deep, I too would have thought from a distance that was Keith. Look, maybe from a distance. He looks. Like from, extr- it looks like Keith after a two-day bender. From two hundred meters away, he probably looks like Keith Urban would have had he not been clean and yeah. sober for decades. <laughs> uh, this man, this version of Keith. Um, I mean, obviously. Someone has told him about 15 years ago that he resembled Keith Urban and he has run with that look. Hasn't he? With a he, denim shirt. Yeah, and he's got the same uh, hair yeah. and the earrings and he wears the shirts the same way and there's tattoos there. So he's obviously milking it for all it's worth. But I love the comments that have come in after this great <laughs> night out. My favourite is um, that is Temu. Temu Keith Urban. Do you know that we've been we've been mispronouncing that magical website Temu? Oh, t- Temu it's sucks. Temu. Temu sounds way better. It's Temu. Temu's annoying. But it's like the version of Keith Urban you would buy if you were on Temu. Totally. I, it would come. It would sort of look like what you saw online, but it would be not. And sad. And sad. I love Nah. That's Keith Bourbon. Keith Bourbon. It looks like Keith Bourbon. Someone has said Sam McGovern has commented saying this is not the man that coached me on The Voice. Oh, he was a voice contestant. <laughs> yes. Now, I think um, Sophia herself says it well when she says, this is why I should stop drinking. <laughs> because there is always a moment of clarity after you have had your last drink. What was your exact moment? Do you, Can you pinpoint one or no? Was it a... Well, there's two. Okay. One, I... No, I won't, I won't say that. That's a, that's a headline waiting to happen. Um, will I say it? Do it. Do, can you sanitise what, you, what you're going to say? I went to have a wee and I didn't make it. <laughs> Swanee, that's fine. I'm, the, I'm okay. Yeah, that happens all the time to people. That was the actual day before. <laughs> I. That was the night before I went, that's it. I'm never having another drink and it's been three and a half years. Were you in the hallway? No, I was in. I, <laughs> I was can in, just pitch you with your leg crossed over. No, I was in. I was in the toilet. I was. I, oh. I nearly got to the toilet. Oh, that's disappointing. And then, you know, I mean, that is <laughs> like, you know, really, that is bad. Yeah. Another one um, that was a bit of a wake up call, but not as much as the wee, was um, I fell off a chair. <laughs> I enjoyed that. And you were there. <laughs> I was. So we were all out for a work function and I mustn't have eaten some, I don't know what it was. We were but doing breakfast radio. When you start drinking after a 4am alarm at 2pm, you're not properly fed, you're tired. I feel like it was later than that. But anyway, I had a glass of red and I fell off the chair. And then the next thing <laughs> I, I remember, I was in a taxi and that was like, oh, okay, yeah. I've got to do something about this. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? you? Oh, my sweet swan, I'd have a different answer every Sunday morning. I was going to (laughs) say, part of this game is you gave up drinking and you haven't done that yet. The Chrissy Swan Show. 
Love paying less? Paying less for your favourite beauty brands, paying less for glowing skin? And who doesn't love paying less for feeling better? Find great prices on everything you love only at Priceline. Shop in store or online. The Chrissy Swan Show. We are talking embarrassing moments when you've had too much to drink that made you think that's it that is my last drink a girl has uploaded a tiktok video of her partying with keith urban but he looks like the version of keith urban you'd buy off (laughs) timu like similar similar yeah but definitely not hey we know we know keith urban (laughs) i know how much you hate it (laughs) this video clip Almost made me homicidal. Really? Actually, no, not this clip. It was a little behind the scenes, look how in love we are, snippet of Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban, and she was singing the female part. And I oh, did, I remember that. We I, were working together. Yuck. I wanted to throw my television across the room. You know how Keith is clean and sober? Is Nicole as well? No, I don't think so. Right, okay. You saw it at the Met Gala. <laughs> um, all right, we're talking about those moments that happened that you went, that's it, that is my last drink ever. Tabitha, what was your wake-up call? Um, when I just realised I could drink a whole bottle of vodka with orange juice and not feel any effect at all. Like, I, um, you would think I was sober. Are you talking about like the the mini bar size vodkas or like no like a bottle of Belvedere? Oh, like, you queen! <laughs> oh my god, Jack, you're not supposed to be Sorry. impressed by Tabitha, that. Tabitha, no, terrible. <laughs> so when yes, you re- when you realised that you could literally stomach that whole bottle, did you go, okay, I've got a problem. Where is this going to end? Am I Tommy Lee? Yeah, and I like admitted to my mum. I'm like, look, I think I need to stop. So it's been four years now, so I haven't had a drink. Hey, Tabitha, how good is it? I know. Much more healthier. And it's just the secret to, like, clear thinking and enjoying life. Yeah, right. And I actually wake up feeling so much better. And the way I look at it, I have three kids to worry about. So if I ended up, you know... Sick or dead. Yeah, well, that's um, it. That's, that's not the greatest outcome for your children. I totally hear that, Tabitha. Tabitha. Hey, let's go to an anon, Swanee. Oh, I love an anon. This is juicy already. What happened? So we were on the way back from a night out. Um, mm. It was my partner's birthday. Um, and one of the people we were with was like, I'm going to throw up. So they kicked us out of the Uber. Mm-hmm. Um, we were stuck on the side of the road, like still a fair way away from home. And we were blind. Like we were so drunk. It's not funny. Mm. Um, so I was like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to call the ambulance. <laughs> so I called the ambulance. I'm like, we're so drunk. I think there's something wrong with us. We've been like, we're stuck here. We don't know what to do. <laughs> it's it's and an they Uber. called us back and I forgot that I had called them. And they were like, we can't use this service for that. Like, we can't call for that. And non, the decisions. <laughs> I, was like, oh. I was shocked. I was like, but we're stuck. Like, we're so... What do you mean? Know, we're probably sick. Like, I thought maybe we had alcohol poisoning. I thought they were going to come and help us. But no, they just kind of said, you can't be calling us for that. <laughs> <laughs> How very dare they, Anon. My God, Frasia, what is your story? A uh, li- little more embarrassing than that one, I think. Uh <laughs> I went out for a night in Melbourne with a few of my mates and don't really remember getting back home, but I woke up on the outside couch without any pants <laughs> and the missus was telling me off. As, okay, uh, let me yeah. just really clarify this and paint the picture. You're on the couch outside yep. with no yep. trousers on but underpants or was the whole doodle out? No, 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 underpants on, luckily. <laughs> Oh, Fraser, that's, that's not fine. a bad story. My God, I'm always no. half nude with my Start drinking undies. again. Yes. <laughs> well, well, no, no, because my, my concern is if I got in an Uber without pants and I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. No stars for you on that no. review. Chris, let's finish with you. What happened to you that made you say, I'm never drinking again? Uh, well, mine lasted for eight months without drinking, but mine was a... Um, a staff Christmas party. Mm. Um, so, you know, free alcohol in the park. I'm doing my thing. Um, and I kicked my toe and, and cut it open. And in my drunken glory, I thought it would be a, um, a wise decision to try and wash it off in the Brisbane River. Um, <laughs> and I've, I've fallen in the river. <laughs> Great so. snow! The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. And is this where you tear me a new one? I'm scared. It is, Swanee, because 
sometimes we just need to bring things up and have a conversation about how much you are taking on. Oh, my God, please don't get me fired. I need this job. <laughs> no, you and me both, I'm babe. sorry. I'm sorry for whatever I did in the kitchen. <laughs> no, you're not, you're not fired for okay. that. What I'm talking about here is a document that I found on the printer called Burundara Cooks. Yes. Now, it's something yes, I was wondering where that was because I send everything to you to print for me because I can't work out the password system. Yes. Now, the Burundara Cooks, yes. Tom and I have read, says information sheet for volunteer cooks. Yes, that's me. I'm going to do that. N- no. No, so let me tell you how this works. Oh. There are lots of old people in my council. I know, mate. I've driven through your suburb. <laughs> and they, and they, I know I'm not the oldest one there. <laughs> um, and they don't know how to cook or they that they can't do it anymore. A lot of them are old single gentlemen and I thought I could pop over once a week. I could make something delicious for Jerry. Oh, and, and then get Randy with him. No. <laughs> no, I'm doing it out of the kindness of my heart because, you know, I'm always cooking and I thought I could just put a little bit in a takeaway container and drop into Jerry's house and drop it off and he'd be delighted and so would I. And I- Jer- Jerry will want you for dessert. <laughs> Don't be like, disgusting. Uh, Swanny, I can understand the sentiment here. Yes. But, like, we struggle to get time with you. Mm. you you're pushing it to get here every day as it is. Then you have a, you didn't sleep on ch- uh, Tuesday night because you were so busy making your own sounds. Are you saying, what am I afraid to look at? What am I running away from? I hear <laughs> yeah, you. What are you running from, babe? Yeah, what am I? I'm running from a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start a list. I'm running from a lot of things and probably into the kitchen of Jerry. Shh. <laughs> With a, with a little mm. takeaway lasagna. You are treating Burundara cooks as a dating service. <laughs> I mean, here's the, th- <laughs> here's the thing. I was on fire last week for pea and ham soup and I made so much of it. Not remembering that no one in my house likes pea and ham soup. Or on earth. I love pea and ham soup. Gross. And I thought, where can I put it? And that's when I found Burundara cooks. Jerry loves a pea and ham. <laughs> <laughs> and if I know you, mm. this was an idea last week, mm. and this week you have no intention of signing up to this program or actually continuing to that do it. That is wrong. I love the whole idea. They join you up with a diner. Loving the idea isn't enough to want to cook every week. I've got a very big heart <laughs> and a very big chest freezer. <laughs> And Jerry wants something else that you've got. Oh, yeah, very stop it. Big. Jerry's not interested in that. It doesn't even work anymore for Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Chrissy Swan Show. I still feel like you uh, idiot shamed me for not knowing that maple syrup com- yep. comes, out, comes out of a tree, that it's sap. I just can't believe you didn't know that. Like, a maple tree, how would you not put two and two together with that? Well, because I just thought maybe it was like, you know, uh, I don't know. (laughs) We're going to do a round of I Was Today Years Old and hear that before four o'clock. We'll also check in with our beautiful Dr. Priya Alexander in Medical Monday. But, Swanee, let's get down to business. You and I are still on holiday in Europe, full disclosure. Yes. We are back live next Monday. Yes. And we can right now announce... Oh, now is time, is it? It's time. That people can head to the Nova Player app or Nova FM and (sighs) register their details because we have something very exciting to give away next Monday. Could be inspired by what we've been doing right now. We can't say anything more than that. I'm scared of getting into trouble from the big wigs. What I do have to say, though, is Flight Centre has deals for everyone with flights, cruises, tours and more. Your holiday starts at flightcentre.com.au. You're not going to believe it. The Chrissy Swan Show. We need to talk about... I was today years old when I found out something. Yes, I love when we play this game. 13, 24, 10 if you'd like to join in, by the way. Who's going first here? You go first. Do you know how maple syrup is made? Because I only found out very recently, and can I tell you, my synapses were blown. Well, I mean... If I I put a gun to your head, how would you say? I mean, my guess would be that it comes from a maple tree. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> Is that your I was today years old? Yes. <laughs> Surely not. I have been eating maple <laughs> syrup and loving it sick for years. But I thought, I mean, the first time I ever tried maple syrup was at the pancake parlour on a short stack with whipped butter. And I thought it was made like topping, you know, sugar and 
flavouring and stuff. I thought it was that, like ice magic or yeah. caramel topping. I thought it right. was that. I didn't know it was a natural thing like honey. So you never categorised it with the likes of honey? No. Because to me it was always just the same. So <laughs> Yeah, I just assumed it was from a maple tree. Well, all right. That is not your today years old. It is mine. Sorry. I will respect that. When someone told me, I was shook and I had to Google, people put like a tap into a tree and then Tom... Tom's laughing as Tom well. Is la- Tom is laughing. I don't like to laugh and like make people feel bad about what they say. You're but actually for real right now. <laughs> did you know it too? Yes. Did you know... Did you also know that a... A tiger is not a female lion. Uh, oh, I, yes. only, I only just found that out. They're two separate animals. Babe, a lioness <laughs> is a female lion. Yes, I know that now, but I didn't. Wow. Well, look. Anyway, enough shaming. I know, I don't mean to shame you, but I'm sure you there's about maybe two people in their cars across Australia that's learnt from you today. So I think I should take over. I was today years old with what, I, what I've learnt. The Met Gala inspired me to finish Sex in the City, the old, old school Sex in the City. I love that you've been saving that, and that is a whole other phone topic. I have been saving the final episode when yeah. Carrie is in Paris because from I From like 20 years ago. From 2004. Oh my yeah. God, amazing. I didn't want it to be over because mm. I've enjoyed the last year watching it. Hard relate. Anyway, the final episode I'm watching, I'm waiting for that emotive moment with a song and you see her strolling down New York City. Yeah. And a song comes on and I'm like, hang on. This was from this is from 2004 this episode and this song that I'm hearing is from 2009. And then I was like, wait, that's not Florence Welsh. No, of Florence is and the not. Machine fame. No, it is not. It is the source featuring Candy Statton. I thought You've Got the Love was Florence's original song. That is a very easy mistake to make and you'll notice that I am not shaming you for your ignorance. Uh, Because this is a good I was today years old. Yours was weird. But you've got to agree, Swanee. Florence made this her own. I mean, far be it for me to say that a cover is better than the original, but I do believe Florence owned that. 13, 24, 10, what have you only just learnt that yeah. has blown your mind. I was today years old. And also, if you want to support me on the maple syrup thing, please do. Like, maybe call up and say, did you know that chickens come from eggs? <laughs> <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. And we are playing a round of I was today years old. Do you want to do yours again, Swanee? Yes, I do, actually. Shoot. Because I cannot be alone in this. I only just found out that maple syrup is basically tree sap. It is a natural product like honey. It's yeah. not made in a lab like, you know, caramel topping. I just had no idea. I can't believe you, Chrissy Swan, didn't know that. The queen of the kitchen. I know. I'm very... And like, and you love honey on toast as well. I love honey. I love maple syrup. I eat it all the time. I often wondered how it could be organic. Yeah. I buy yeah. the organic stuff and I'm like, oh, how can it be organic if it's made in a lab like topping? No, people put a tap inside a trunk of a tree. Nuts. Jade, when, what have yes. you just learnt? That decaf coffee has no caffeine. I mean, look. I thought it had, <laughs> I thought it had a little bit. Yeah, I thought it had a little bit too. No, that's the whole point. No, but I feel like they can't get it all out, Jade. Yeah, like maybe. <laughs> See, we definitely called me. Decaffeinated, so it's right there in the name. I probably should have worked that out. <laughs> it's right there in the name. It is, but I do suspect that there is still a tiny bit in it. I do. I think you're right there. All right, I'll take it. I'll take no, it. No, I just no. I don't think there is. That's the whole point. I think there is. There's, a, there's got to be <laughs> like, a Google in it. There's got to be a Google look, in it. Look, Jade, I'm I'm surprised you didn't know that, but it's not as bad as Chrissy's maple syrup. Excuse me. And can you well, please? I just want to come to her defence on that. Yes, there is maple flavored syrup. That is not maple syrup from a tree. That's right. That's right, Jade. But it's inspired by maple spirit syrup, which comes it from is, a maple tree. Jade, but do you want me to give you a prize or not? Yes, yes, you do, Jade. <laughs> I'm going to send you a double pass to see Abigail in cinemas now, and you're also in the draw for Nova's 10K a day in May. Natalie, you, what thanks. did you only just come to learn? So I was today years old um, when I found out that the human body is made up of 80% water. 
Okay, so at what at what context did this factoid appear? Um, it appeared. I'm actually a nurse. A surprise. <laughs> and, yes, I found this fact out at work by one of the doctors. And what was your face? Were you like what? I, was, I just sort of kept quiet. Ah, <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> that is the natural reaction when you suspect that. Everybody knows this. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. What, what are we giving Natalie for showing her vulnerability? Natalie. It's a big deal to say you don't understand something, I, Jack. I know. I kind of wish Natalie had gone in and like told a patient just to really worry them about <laughs> who's looking after them. <laughs> Natalie, we're going to send you a Priceline pharmacy voucher and you're also in the draw for Nova's 10K a day in May. Courtney, what did you just find out when you were today years old? Hi, guys. Um, I was today years old when I found out that Anne Frank and Martin Luther King Jr. were actually born on the same year. I love these ones because in our minds we imagine yeah. one is much older than yeah. the other. Yeah, absolutely. So historically you just go, oh, yeah. So who I'm did you up. think? Who did you think was further back in history, Anne Frank or Martin Luther King? I feel like... And Frank, just because she's younger for some reason. But Me then, too. Yeah. I thought that she was like from 200 years ago. <laughs> but she's not. See how supportive I am of people you that are, are learning things? This is a good I was today. Thank you for being so supportive. 1929. No, well done, Courtney. And we're going to send you a soda stream art sparkling water maker and your also in the draw for over 10 And if you think oh about God, it, thank you, if you God. think about it, of course that makes sense. But sometimes we just don't think about it. No, totally. You don't go and investigate. Correct, Michael. Let's finish with you. What were you today years old that when you found out? Hey, guys. Uh, so I was today years old when I found out that uh, broccoli is actually uh, man-made. Uh, it's that I think it's genetically mutated from the cabbage family. What? What? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't believe it when they told me either. The boys were talking about it at work. I'm actually vegetarian, so it's something I probably should have known. But <laughs> apparently, it's a uh, it's a food that uh, was yeah mutated from cabbage and is um or the cabbage family and uh, has some added nutrients to it. Oh my god! Is this? Have you done some research on this, Michael? I don't know if I believe yeah. it. I Googled it too because I didn't believe it. And yeah. It, it is true. <gasps> so, oh my God, I just. What? That's so cool. Also, broccoli's like my favourite vegetable. Broccoli's like the cavoodle of the vegetable it world. Really <laughs> is. <laughs> the Chrissy Swan Show. It's Monday. Let's do this. Need a doctor? Skip the waiting room and speak to a doctor online with Instant Scripts. Visit instantscripts.com to date you today. Medical Monday with Dr. Priya Alexander. Welcome, you magnificent creature. Hello, friends. Hey, Priya. I've got a uh, unrelated question. Oh, go on. <laughs> Could be dinner? anything. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, why, when I make an appointment at 4.30, do I not get to see a doctor until quarter past five? <laughs> That's called running late. Actually, 15 minutes I consider normal. I'm sorry, Chrissy. That's 45. I don't tend to run 45 late unless we've had an emergency. Things happen in our consulting rooms. I can't even tell you. Have you heard of like text message platforms that tell your patients that <gasps> they it's going to be late? We, we sometimes call people. Oh, yeah, if, do if you an not emergency get a call? Happens. Never. I've never, ever got a call. My clinic always calls. Do you know that's the one that's time nice. I'm not savage? That's the one place I don't get mad about lateness because I can imagine what the doctors are dealing with. Yeah, because also Thanks, Jack. you're sitting there in the waiting room convinced that you're about to die. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> he's like, I'm going to take 45 minutes too. Yeah. All right. Question number one, Swanee. Yes, we have taken your questions on social media. Some of them are anonymous. Some of them are not. Sophie wants to know if there are any natural ways to get rid of skin tags. And an addendum to that, what? Why is it, what is a skin yeah. tag? So skin tags are those little excess bits of skin that you might notice around the neck, they're, sometimes under the armpit. They're like you can flick them. They're disgusting. They look like little kitten tits. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're very common, friends, and they often occur with friction. So you might wear a necklace that rubs or if underwear rub, they can occur on the groin line, but it's uh-huh. often that friction. So you're not born with it, baby? No, they no. often and they they, come in your they, life. They grow like... You know, roots of trees under your arms. They can grow in areas of friction, but when this person says natural, mm. 
I'm wondering what that means. I take to them with a set of nails. You can. So we can knife. snip them, we can freeze yeah. them, and Ooh. if they're particularly large, I'll refer you to a dermatologist or plastic surgeon to, to have them removed, depending on where they are. I had one on my eyelid. Yeah. Yep. You can get them really anywhere. Do you remember? Tags. We were working together. Yeah, you had, you had to and have I was like, a... I've got to have a morning off. I've yeah. got to go and see a plastic surgeon. <laughs> That's there you right. Go. And I waited so long to get in to see him, and then he went, Tip, and that was it. And they're benign. That's the other thing to tell people. So they're not cancerous. If you've got a skin growth, though, it's worth just getting it checked. Of course. But skin tags are benign. And, yeah, they just occurred due to friction. Go see your GP. Get it Come snipped. and see us. Um, or come see me and I'll take it off with the <laughs> nail clippers. <laughs> Shelley has asked, on, uh, has asked about how long it should take for her cycle to start back after having a baby and whether they come back worse. No single right answer here, friends. Mm. So it's different for everybody. It depends on whether or not you're breastfeeding. Mm. Depends on lots of things. So for some people after childbirth, they're having a period at four weeks. Mm -hmm. Holy mama. Some people who are breastfeeding don't get return of cycle. So if you're exclusively breastfeeding, some people use lactational amenorrhea. So breastfeeding no period as their form of contraception. Which is an old wives' tale. No. No, 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 lactational amenorrhea. You have to meet certain criteria. Baby under six months, exclusively breastfeeding, not having long gaps in the feeds, no return of period. But you can use that as your contraception. But I know you're, this is cool. How nerdy Swan and awesome shook. is this? But the answer is it's different for everybody when your period returns. And so if it's not returning and the reason you're asking is, oh, I'd like to consider another baby, yeah. pregnancy, mm. that's when you come and see me, GP. Thank, thank you, you so much for coming in. We'll see you next week. And thank you for bringing Holly Mama back. We haven't had a Holly Mama for weeks. <laughs> Holly <laughs> Mama. <laughs> now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.